software systems. Here we're looking at software and application controls. And we have to understand that you know, application controls should be embedded within different software applications. System software controls are a kind of application control, which are embedded within the more technical sides, kind of the network software, the operating system, the systems for managing different databases. We're going to look here at the different controls that you have, starting from the input all the way to you know, the, the end, the output, the different application controls that you would expect to be embedded within a properly controlled uh, software application. We start by our input controls. Input controls you know, restrict and check the integrity of data input into an application. For instance, if you are creating a file on Excel which you'd like to give to different users. Okay, this is you know, not exactly an application, it's uh, you know, just an Excel file, but I'd like to use this for illustrative purposes. You have something called data validation. Go check it out uh, under data, data validation. It's a function that you, know, you can say to the Excel file, you are only going to allow in this cell, that's a little place where you, know, you can type things, into this cell, you're only going to allow numbers. Why? Because, I don't know, it's, it's about sales. So, you know, this is your sales numbers for the last month. You don't want to have, you know, uh, Bob from sales, uh, you know, typing in a big excuse why he didn't make his sales numbers. You just want him to type in his sales number. So, you're going to go to the uh, data validation function on Excel and say, I only want numerical values. I don't want excuses, Bob. So, that's a kind of input control uh, and you'd expect that for you know, a software. An accounting system, same thing. You have certain fields and the amounts is always numeric. Processing controls. Verify that the data has been properly processed. That's usually you know, that your information coming in is you know, transferred, you know, it's, it's modified in a certain way but when it comes out, your output is you know, consistent. It's, it's, it's logical. It's what you were actually expecting if you did it in a different way. You know, our, our little operation, uh, you know, take uh, A and then you know, add 1 to it is going to give you know, A plus 1 at the end, whatever that thing is. You're going to verify that that's consistent from your inputs to your outputs. Integrity controls verify that stored and processed data remains consistent and accurate. For instance, you have a communication. Okay? Th this is you know, a, a transfer of data from one place to another. But you have noticed that on your outputs, it's corrupted, it's modified, it's destroyed in certain ways. You know, all the text that didn't come out, something something didn't work. Well, you could put in a control which makes sure that it's, it's only going to say that you know, the communication you know, went through if it was entirely correct. You know, it's only going to you know, work if, it, you know, say, uh, in accounting, if your uh, assets equal you know, your, your, your different uh, liabilities, if you're both sides of your balance sheet you know, actually balance. Otherwise, you have a problem and you'd probably have an error message. So different integrity controls uh, that you know, make sure that uh, the data is, is consistent and, and accurate. And finally, output controls, which would verify that the outputs from an application are consistent with its uh, inputs. It's, it's what you were expecting at the beginning. To tie all of these different parts together, we have kind of a final control on this, which is making sure that there is a management trail. I mean, you might know this a bit more as audit trail, but it, it helps ensure that key parts of the process are, are kept within different logs, that there is a trail for transactions, 
that if there's you know any change to the system, you know exactly you know what what changed uh, and exactly when. So this is a log, and it works especially for things that are transactional, like communications coming in or out. That's transactional, or you know you understand your accounting or your operations part better. Something happened, and so you know there is something within the log that is kept there.